Jerry White's got a problem. I see chairs. The chairs are bad. The fire department's taken over the speed shop. We have a big lever. You pull it. <laughs> Astronaut position right now. He's only got a month to turn this wreck into America's meanest Mustang. It's a strain. It's a hard thing to keep up with. Will this crew... This is kind of a little shift war. And this car... That V-shift stuff. ...finally unglue Barry. I don't have one. That's why I bought one. 8600. How to make a buck. The Barry White way. Just rip that out of there. Find a wreck. That's exactly what we're looking for. Yeah. You sleeping underneath there? <laughs> Get the right people. Ken, do something. What do you want me to do? That's work. The right parts. Easy, 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 easy. And go to work. Bring it on. Then hope. It's flawless. Someone wants to buy it. Let your money bring you happiness. That's how you get from Rex to Riches. What do we got for Mustangs? Well, I found this one. The Speed Shop's next project is already underway. Can you get those front pieces? Uh, I believe fender, so, yeah. Fender extensions? Yes. A classic 69 Mustang Fastback found on the internet. He originally came with the 351 Windsor engine. Okay. It checked out pretty good. The car looks to be really complete. You know, when we get into the build process, it's a lot easier if you have a complete car to know how things went together when you go to put it back together. If you start with a shell and you have to buy all the stuff new, sometimes you don't know what you're missing until it's too late. It's one of the better wrecks the team has had to resurrect. So what were you asking for the car? I go 5,600. About 54. You have the cash on you, or is it? Absolutely. Yes, we do. OK, we right got to do it. today. OK, thank you. <laughs> Great. Appreciate it. This is what they hope to build. The 69 Fastback is a muscle car classic. Aggressive lines, sweeping tail, and snarling grill have become street legend. But Barry wants to go further. Our kind of goal on this whole car is to capture that and put our own spin on it, bring it up to date, you know, make a super muscle car Mustang. High roller spatial. 75 mile week, 8,000. 75, 8,000, 75 mile week. In three weeks, the Fastback will be on the block here at the Cruise Auto Auction in Las Vegas. Everybody come in. Big money comes here, chasing exceptional vehicles. It's a place where buyers and sellers dance for a few minutes, then leave happy or heartbroken. With the body in such good shape, it took less than a week to have it ready for paint. It's a good color. Red's a go-fast color, you know? And as we all joking, we call it resale red. And we all know it's going to the auction, so... It's going to get sold. So resale red is a good color. So far, Barry spent $15,000 on this pony and 90 work hours. But he's getting help from high places. The Beverly Hills Fire Department has a bunch of muscle car fans who want in on the action. I can already see in my mind what the thing's going to look like. I'm ready. We're all ready. It's going to be great. Between shifts, they're heading to the speed shop to fire up the fastback. Well, I've always liked uh, cars with power, and nothing beats a muscle car for power. My first car was a 66 Mustang. There's nothing else like it, and they don't make cars like that today. All right, guys, let's go build a car. Fire Captain Dean Guccione is a friend of Barry's. Hey, Barry. 
Dean's restored his own cars in his garage, but nothing this big or this quickly. You guys ready for this? We're all ready. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> With Barry tied up on customers' cars, the swarm of firemen stripped the car in under a week. The nice part is the guys that are sharp, their job is improvising. So you can't throw them a curve. I mean, they're just, they just pick it up. If that doesn't work, they go to that. So it's, it's really kind of cool. But some of their work practices are taking Barry by surprise. Give him 10 minutes, he takes out the torch. It was the start of a cultural clash. Yeah, I think uh, we're done for the day. Think of both sides? How can you go home with half done? Those guys can't even put out a fire in a day. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was that? <laughs> it's 60% contained. <laughs> <laughs> can't even put out a fire in a day, <laughs> That's good. Uh, the Mustang's about 3% contained, guys. <laughs> yeah, this is a... It's not even a quarter percent yeah, per here, contained. We're, we're about 7% contained yeah. here. <laughs> On a good my, day. I, I mean, my <laughs> butt. On a good day. This super muscle car won't just look like a racer. It will have new performance parts to make it feel like a racer. We're going to have to put all the performance stuff in it ourselves, which is springs, shocks, A-arms, all that kind of stuff to make the car handle and do what we want it to do. Which one are you on? The one on the flat section there. Right here. Yeah. I feel good about this car, just the way everything's coming out. You know, all the Beverly Hills Fire Department helping us. They're doing a great job with everything they've done so far. The car is just impeccable. I mean, it's, I wish I had this car. With the old components stripped out, the team can start building the new car. Okay, it's a half an inch away. You're gonna Seems get... this cultural exchange program is really working out. I mean, we all work together. We have to work as a team, otherwise somebody may die a lot of times, so. That's the way we are, too. Yeah. If we don't work as a team, uh, somebody might die, too. Yeah. Huh. Right. One of them might get killed, man. What are you looking at me for? <laughs> Just two weeks to auction. Better than money in the bank at that price. Some of America's highest rollers buy their rides at the Cruise Auto Auction in Las Vegas. The car will be bringing double back. Barry White needs the big money to land on red. A 69 Mustang Fastback, the baby boomer's fantasy muscle car. Feel like a winner? Barry has just two weeks left to drag it into the 21st century and attract the big bids. The whole super muscle car theme is to upgrade. All these pieces come together to make this, you know, what, we, what we're trying to achieve. And that's to be able to go around a corner, still accelerate fast, put the big tires on it, the big brakes. Uh, it works great. Stripping and painting the fastback was trouble free. But Barry struck a problem with the brakes. These appear to be a little bit shorter which is going to create a, a large problem if this rotor is larger in diameter. The brake flanges are too short for the new racing discs. And that's the problem. In a 9-inch Ford, they make so many different rear flanges. This flange here, this is a standard Torino flange, they call it, and I don't know what Chris ordered, so. Bring me one of those flanges. After 25 years building muscle cars, Barry's got a few spare parts hidden away. He's rustling up a quick fix. Good. These will work. That's good news. The guys from the fire crew don't like holdups. Don't keep moving it. Why not? That's half the fun. 
You guys are supposed to be good at ladders. You're scaring me. That's not the only thing that scares Barry about these guys. The spa tea. The speed shops never seen work practices like these. What's up with this? But we need this. That's it. Come in, Adam. We'll show you how to do it the hill style. The, the fireman you style. Ain't never, you ain't never done mechanics like this. The only place Barry wants to see seats is inside the car. Uh, I see chairs. Chairs are bad. Chairs, chairs, are, bad. chairs are bad. If we got too many guys and we got chairs, we're in trouble. <laughs> Is there a lot of sitting involved in firefighting? These things would recline. <laughs> if they'd recline. They'd have a big lever, you'd pull it. <laughs> Astronaut position right now. That's to save your energy in case there's a call, right? Yeah, see, there you I'm go. Working with you here. I'm working with you here. All right. Look at Becky. There's no sitting when you're working on cars. You're a tough taskmaster. You're a tough man, a tough, tough guy. Oh, I'm just getting started. They might be sitting down on the job, but they're working around the clock. The fire crew has split into two rotating shifts. So that's that U joint by your knee, that's gonna go right up there. Today, the B shift has to replace the old heavy steering with a modern power rack and pinion racing setup. Basically, it's a GM stainless steel column with a steering wheel adapter and steering wheel. So it's a, a whole kit. I mean, from the steering wheel to the wheels, it, it replaces all the old um, kind of antiquated steering that was in the car originally. It'll give you more of a sports car feel, and that's kind of what we're looking for with the whole super muscle car theme, you know. That's what it's all about. The handling upgrades adding another 2,000 to the bill, bringing the total so far to 20,000 and 180 hours work. That angle works out about two inches above that other pillow block. Make the cut right there, and the thing should be centered perfectly if it's the depth is good. The B shifts made good progress, but it had to. Yeah, it's heavy. The next crew's about to take over, and there's a healthy firehouse rivalry with Dean Guccione's A shift. But we wanted to finish this. We didn't want Gooch to come here, and it was half done, and then we'd you have hear to put up it. with, oh, yeah. We'd have to put up with all the guff of you that. You're going to hear about we're, it anyway. Yeah. There you go. This is kind of a little shift wars. He's on the A shift. We're on the B shift. OK, I got you. All right. Turns out, if there's anyone harder to impress in the speed shop than Barry, it's the A shift. The A-shifters, we come in, we do our stuff right the first time. It doesn't really need to be taken all apart and redone again. B-shift's job on the steering column ain't up to scratch. B-shift, right here. That's, that's B-shift stuff. <laughs> You've got to hope these guys get along better when your house is burning down. I'm going to uh, tighten down all the steering. Why would you do that, Dean? <laughs> well, apparently when it was installed, it didn't get tightened down for some reason. Why? I'm, I'm not really sure. I think it was a B-shift kind of thing. <laughs> Bringing out the best in the muscle car brings out the worst in the fire crew. They were sitting in the chairs when I got here. Oh, oh yeah, Terry had the chairs pulled out, huh? <laughs> yeah. With the A-shift on deck, there's not a chair to be seen. And they're not going to be able to work on the motor when the chairs are sitting right here. They're going to have a hard time. <laughs> I can see that going. <laughs> They're always in a good mood. They're always joking around. They've been putting the effort in. You know, this car isn't for lack of effort. I mean, oh, we've got boxes of parts, and every time they come in, they jump on something and they get it done. So, yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled to death. Thrilled to death. Wish, wish we had a team like this on every car. There's no doubt A and B shift have the passion to get this job done. But with two shifts getting through the work in double time, now the pressure's on Chris. He needs to keep them supplied with parts, and the biggest part of all is missing. Well, I 
I came up with uh, some tracking numbers finally uh, for the motor. Yep. Looks like it's not gonna be here till Monday. <laughs> you go tell the fire boys that their engine's not gonna be here till Monday. They'll be real happy with you. Yeah. It's part of the job. Maybe Chris doesn't realize how badly the team wants that engine. Work will grind to a halt without it. Hey, boys. Yeah, come on. Hi. Got bad news. Uh oh. Yeah, and I just uh, looked at the tracking numbers, and it looks like the motor's not going to be here until Monday. 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 Uh oh. Did you see your noose up there? Yeah, I like that. You can hang the truck driver with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's so. it. We quit. We're going home. That's not what they want to hear with just 10 days to auction. What's all whiners? The Las Vegas Cruise Auto Auction attracts some of the most astute car buyers in the country. They don't come here to splash cash up against the walls. They're looking for a sure thing, a one-pony race. Barry's hoping his 69 Mustang Fastback will be it. You guys looking for a motor? You got one? Back in the workshop, got they've got more than 400 horses to deal with. Nice. Boy, this day's been long in coming, hasn't it? I can't believe it. B-ship shows up, motor's here. It's going to be a good <laughs> you day. You know, I was going to bring it the other day, but then the other guys would have gotten to play with it, and I wanted you guys to be able to play. When the B-shift is here, we do the big stuff. I was stuff. just saving it for you. The A-shift, they're door guys. <laughs> Outstanding. Let's get well, that thing get out to of work. There. All right. A-team ain't gonna be happy it missed this. All right, all right, look good, looking good, looking good. Okay, bring it down slowly. It's a small way. block engine, like the one dropped in at the factory back in 69. A little bit more, all right, coming down. But that's where the similarity ends. All right, slow, whoa, whoa. This mini monster pounds out 100 horsepower more than the original. This one's 450 at the crank. So this will definitely get out of its own way. This will, this will be a, this will be a good car, good performance car. All right, nice. The Eagle has landed. The new race engine will add ten thousand dollars to the ticket. The running totals jump to thirty thousand and two hundred twenty hours. And it's the time that's got Barry worried. That'll be the mad dash this weekend. We'll be all hands on deck Saturday. These guys are doing a great job. Everything's working good. Uh, it's just, there's just a lot of parts on these cars. With the engine finally in, the last thing Barry needs is more missing parts. That's exactly what he's got. Now we don't have a flex plate. So usually they come with a flex plate. This one didn't come with a flex plate. So now we gotta scramble to get a flex plate on it. So without that flex plate, they can't install the transmission. Okay. Thank you. Bye. So you got a list of the parts I need. Yep. Becky can help that. You know what we need. Absolutely have to have it. Okay. All right, now I'm going to go talk to Fireman. Both side door handles. Both side door handles. Yeah. Hopefully they make this upper lock rod. Here. It, it's gone. We don't have it. The door jam switches, dash and the circuit because that one's burned out. The gauges and you need a death door lock rod. What else? Um, the story's getting worse. It's not just big parts missing. The piece of stainless that goes on the back part of the uh, door glass. I am looking for um, a flex plate, sockets for the uh, taillights, anything you need, write down. The missing list is over two pages now. Today's been by far been the worst day for problems because they're they're compounding on each other. Nothing's working. Doors, all other parts for the dash, interior stuff is just not working. So desperate times call for desperate measures. Harness. They've salvaged the original wiring harness out of the trash. Perfect. Kind of get my ass chewed out here, and I'd really like to uh, have some answers. 
Reinstalling 30-year-old wiring seems like a gamble. It goes right there. They don't need more problems down the track when it's too late. 28 or 15? 20 or 15. Ounce, he's saying. Hell, we've committed to these auction houses that we will have a car at this place. It's just a huge undertaking. I think it's hard to understand for people how many parts and how quickly that the people have to come up with the parts so you can put them on the car so you can get the car done in time. It's a strain. It's a hard thing to keep up with. The longer the fire crew has to wait for parts, the bigger the rush they'll have to face. We've got a lot of assembly to do. The fire boys are going to have to stand on it pretty hard here in the next week in order to really get this thing put together. Somebody order a flywheel? Oh, flywheel. Finally. All right. Finally, a flex plate's cool. arrived. Thank you. It's supposed to have two bolt patterns in it. OK. But the flywheel's supposed to fit inside the bell housing to oh, attach yeah. the torque converter, right? Yep. Yep. A little bit, a little bit too lago. Yep. It's too big. Every time I go to Ford, I get them screwed up. All right, I just sent somebody all the way from Corona to your shop to pick up a flywheel for a small block Ford with a C4 transmission. This could break the Mustang. It's too big. It's the wrong flywheel. Did you go through all this? The right no, plate could be yet. days away. The thing's like a third too big. I don't have one. That's why I bought one. All the firemen in the world can't stop this flex plate problem okay. from burning out of control. auction in Las Vegas can be a gold mine or a graveyard for custom builders. At 25, drive it out. Here goes. This is your last chance. Competition is intense and the bidding ferocious. Bring the wrong car, they'll freeze you out. He wanted thousands more. There's just eight days to get to Las Vegas. And if it's not finished, this perfect Mustang will end up costing Barry a bundle. Finally, Barry's caught a break. That's it. A new flex plate's arrived, and even better, it's the right one. Now they can fit the transmission. The race to the finish line is back on, and it's all hands to the pumps. Both fire shifts are here, and the guys from the speed shop have dropped their tools to help, too. Drive shaft here, thank you. Perfect. Finally, the Mustang is coming together. Every part that goes on is creating a unique super muscle car. It's the trickiest state-of-the-art stuff there is, so that's that's the key. You know, we're trying to stay on that super muscle car theme and keeping that, that cutting edge. The new components melt perfectly with the Fastback's timeless muscle car shape. Ford hit the mark on this one. It was just an aggressive looking car, front and back, you know, but once we get this front end together, all the headlights and stuff on it, you know, with this bright red, uh, this is gonna be a nice looking car. I'm kind of excited. But in the mad rush, someone screwed up. Big time. <laughs> what do you do, get in the clear? Yeah. Now, you can see something was dropped on it pretty hard. They knew about this. I wish they would have told me 
already because I could have had this fixed when it happened. But now here we're trying to install fenders today and this ain't gonna quite happen the way we want. That's why we come to you, wow. Tony, because you save our ass every time we chip something. Tony's not happy. That tiny chip is a huge problem. Now they have to clear the shop, mask the entire car, apply three coats of color, and three of clear. Yeah, I have to take my time, you know. I don't want to wrinkle it again. It's a huge setback, but they can't afford not to get the paintwork right. If I was interested in this car, this is the one thing that could deter me. And then that makes me go look at other stuff on the car and make sure it was done right. Because let's face it, the fit and finish is the first thing everybody looks at. If it doesn't look good, who the hell wants to buy it? The rest of the day is a write-off. Back on deck the next morning and just two days left. But the finish line is in sight, and the final touches are going on. The headlights, the trim, the heritage. Perfect. Beautiful. Good moment. A finished piece. Finally, the interior, in the Henry Ford tradition of any color you want as long as it's black. It's going in fast, but it's not going in cheap. You know, we'll spend ten to fourteen thousand dollars just in trim parts, fenders, mirrors, you know, stainless bumpers, you know, interior, and then you got to put it all on. You got to put it all together. So there's, there's a lot of time, a lot of effort. The spendometer has topped thirty-five grand and they've spent 280 hours. That's in. Bingo, done. You want all the way off? I'm calling it right now. They're winning the race to install the engine and create the perfect body. But there's another roadblock. What's that black wire you took off for the fan? That's for the fan. Right okay. For the Mustang's right electrical system is a mess. Maybe they shouldn't have recycled that old wiring harness. Because just two days before the auction, turn the key, all you'll get is burning plastic. To make top dollar selling a car, you've got to go where buyers fight for your wheels. The Cruise Auto Show in Las Vegas is the place. Barry White's latest rescue project, a 69 Mustang Fastback, has less than two days to get there. Mustang at its best! Problem is, the electrics keep frying when you turn the ignition. So it should function fine without that uh, relay in? Okay. Well, we'll try that. They've brought in an right. expert and new wiring to replace the recycled electricals. If you didn't have power coming to your coil, you would use just, you'd use our relay, and then you'd use our, our harness and go to your coil. So he said the redundant power was probably just holding that uh, relay. So it's like a latching relay. Yeah. yeah. So we should be good. What that means is they finally got it sorted out. to the ears of the fire crew that worked so long and hard to get this Mustang built. 
This is a culmination of three weeks worth of busting our butts, building this car from a bare shell. And as any car guy knows, this is the heart and soul of any car. And for it to run is unbelievable. This thing is gonna blow people away. The car is almost done. There's just one last decision to be made. Chris was telling me he wasn't sure which one you wanted. No, you made up your mind yet? Hmm. Well, let's take Chris has come up with two designs for the graphics. One has the side stripe low on the body. The other, high. I like the low one personally because it's it makes the car look a little lower. I like them both. Um, so I'm no you're, help on this one. You're a wobbling piece of Both shit. designs work. <laughs> There's no right or wrong here. Which one do you guys think? Barry's feeling Not unusually Sorry, democratic. Yes. Okay. Pull up a chair. Let Terry pick one. You got to think about these things. You know, don't you have to stand up and think? No, no. no he can't. Hello, Flo. Just sit. This one's it? Yeah, bottom. Let's do that one. Okay. We're going to override his ass. All right. Yeah, they both look good. Oh, I drew them yeah. both. <laughs> <laughs> you can't lose. Exactly. Either way, I win. <laughs> The Fastback's defining lines are laid in. Inspired by years of Mustang tradition, but all super muscle. This car will be impossible to ignore in Las Vegas. By the time Chris's specially designed gold wheels roll in, this bendometer has topped out at just over $40,000 and 310 work hours. Dropping the fast back to the deck, every minute was worth it. All the fire guys should be excited. I mean, this is a hell of a big effort for them, Dean especially, because he's he's been here through the whole thing. You know, he's taking time off work and everything else to make this happen. A 69 Mustang Fastback goes to show what four weeks hard work and passion can achieve. Look at it, this thing's beautiful. This is unbelievable. I can't believe we did this. And obviously the help of all of Barry's guys and all the guys from the fire department, it's been incredible. For fire captain Dean Guccione, who managed two teams of firemen, this is what he's been waiting for. Building this car and seeing the, the end result, this thing is beautiful. It's gorgeous. The Mustang's been reinvented from the rubber up, adding modern substance to 60s style. Got that old late 60s Trans Am look. So oh, yeah, it's going to turn heads everywhere it goes. Only all the heads is turning as we're just driving down the street. It's a perfect blend of old and new. With its 351 small block and sports suspension, it'll perform like a racer. This thing's crazy. It's nuts. It's insane. It's fun, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's, this, it's is a what, lot of this is what it's all about. The boss-inspired paint job ensures the summer of 69 will be riding right alongside. It's a feel-good car, but the only way Barry will be feeling good is if it pays off at the auction.
the Las Vegas selling floor will be a crapshoot. It's always a gamble, and we're gambling in Vegas again. Uh, but Vegas was good to us last time. Hopefully, Vegas will be good to us again this time. It's time to roll the dice. It's economically perfect in every way, and it's show condition. Where better than Las Vegas, where fortunes are won and lost every minute of every day. I'm telling you, it's a great buy. The cruise auto auction attracts rock hard buyers. Find the right car, they'll spend big. But if Barry's got it wrong, he'll be driving his Mustang home again down the strip. Well, it's uh, definitely a wolf in sheep's clothing. Obviously, a, an incredible take apart masterpiece. The color, the cleanliness, the wheels, uh, the detail, stripes, just the way they did the hood, really did a beautiful job on it. Nice interior styling that you guys have done. It's got some modern appointments in there with the, with the old interior I like a lot. The engine's just amazing. It looks like they've done an awesome job on the engine compartment as well. Looks like it's pretty fast. <laughs> be fun to drive. Barry's fastback is unique. But interest in this later model will give him an idea which way the wind is blowing. This isn't the most desirable body style. The one we have down is the desirable body style. So the fastback. So 13 volt bed now five. 13 five we got enough. 13 six. 13 six. 13 seven. 13 seven and seven and seven and 13 eight. 13 thousand eight hundred. 13 eight. He said no. So 13 seven. So 13 thousand seven hundred. So 13 thousand seven hundred. Barry's owes him more than 40,000. It's a stock car. It wasn't restored or anything, I don't think, so. No, it's not bad. It's a good auction. There's a lot of life here. There's guys looking. There's some people here that are ready to buy cars. That's the important thing. That's what we need. <laughs> Barry White hasn't just laid his money on the line at the Cruz Auto Auction in Las Vegas. His reputation is out there, too. It takes about 10 or 15 more, right? Is his 69 Mustang Fastback up to scratch? Here we go, good luck. <laughs> Let's see what we get. The 69 Ford Mustang, and it's loaded with everything. This is Dunlap Tires. Of all the firemen who worked on the car, Dean put the most time in, and he's here to see it through to the end. Yeah, I'll be sad to see it go, but I always have the memory of it and how hard we worked to build it and the work that it took to make it what it is. I mean, look at the thing, it's, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful. And there, there's nothing really like it in here. This is one of the nicest cars in this auction today. Super muscle car, lettering, number seven, engine is a 400. For the last cars, month, they lived and breathed fastback. It started with a perfect wreck. It's a good car, it doesn't have any rust in it. Muscle car lovers from the Beverly Hills Fire Department had it stripped and racing red in a week. <laughs> we'll show you how to do it the hill style. The, the but chairs style. in the workshop? Very, chairs very are bad. Very. They're bad luck. A flex plate? Days slipped away waiting for parts. What did you do, get your clear? Mysteriously chipped paint cost more time. Here, let me just help you with this. Hey, Something <laughs> had to go. Terry, I'm there. afraid you're on your own. Somehow they overcame it all to create a super muscle car with the soul of 69 Mustang. 69.
1979 Ford Mustang. Beautiful upholstery. Barry's hoping that's away. an irresistible combination. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and how much would it be? Here we go, boys. Hey, I got 25. Thank you on the multimillionaire. I got 25 down. Everybody get 50. I got 25. Everybody get 50 down. Everybody get 30, 40. I had checkbook Charlie. Give me 40, 40, 40. It's 30, only taken 40 30 down, seconds to pass 40 grand. Now 40. Everything now, now is profit. 45 down. Everybody get 45, Ardell. I got 45 there. Everybody get 50. Smile, Ardell. You're on TV. 50. <laughs> this is the guy you want buying your cars. I got 45, 50 right there. Now 55, Ardell. Give me 50. Yeah, Ardell's a good guy. He's got several of the cars. So uh, he's always good for keeping things pumped up. 51, 52. I got 51, two party right behind you. 51. These guys are collectors too. There. I got 52, three. I got 52. They'll go head to head with Ardell. 52 to three, three, three. I got 52 down, 53 thousand dollars now. Four, 54 thousand dollars. Are they able to buy 54 down? Able to buy 54 down? 55. I got 54, five, 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 55. Anybody else? 56 thousand. Tell me anybody else? Anywhere in the house, 55, 56, 50, but you can see it's 6,000. The Mustang is going to sell. Two bidders, one car. Barry's loving this. And now 56, 7, 50. Give him a big hug. Ardell's the buyer. Way to go, Ardell. Fifty-six and a half thousand dollars. It's just the, the right car in the right place, you know. Uh, some of them go high, some of them go low. It's just having the right one in the right place. Ardell can pretty much count on getting a speed shop Christmas car this year. And now, this is uh, number four of his that I bought. Well, I like these cars, and I'll probably buy more of them. The Mustang will be in good company at its new home. Barry's in the money. But for Fireman Dean, building a car like this meant more than cold cash. The best memory is working with all the guys and getting to know Barry and all the guys that work with him and uh, working with our guys at the fire department as a team to get this thing accomplished. Yeah, if we don't work as a team, somebody might die too. Huh. <laughs> it's the people aspect of it. Yeah, the cars are inanimate, and they're the end result. That's the reward when you're done. <laughs> but the true reward is actually working with all the guys and getting to know Barry and all the guys that, uh, that work in the shop. All right, that's it. We quit. We're going home. Oh, whiners. <laughs> that's good.